wow. <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Where do I even begin with this? Now, yes, I'm well aware that, you know, this is a re late review. You're probably thinking, wait, Zilla, this movie's been out for almost over a week. You know, why didn't you take so long? Well, shit happened. That's all I gotta say. Shit happened, and now we're all here. Uh, you know, it'd be, I'm thankful I at least saw the movie, and saw the movie without any spoilers. I will say that much is that I should. I feel like I just got like an achievement unlocked for <laughs> dodging as many spoilers as I did from the movie's premiere to the day it came. It, I mean, to the day I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> so Avengers Endgame. Now I'm gonna keep spoilers to a bare minimum because I feel like this is a movie that you know, a lot of people still haven't watched. Although, to be fair, the theater I went to, and this was, as of this recording, um, it was a Wednesday that I, it was yesterday, actually, as of this recording, because this is probably going to get posted uh, by tomorrow, or today is, how, whatever. <laughs> Point being is that it was a pretty packed uh, theater, even if it was a Wednesday, in a, in a movie theater, and, yeah, it, it was still pretty big, you know, it was still a uh, large turnout. So, I thought that was pretty cool. This movie is just a beautiful love letter to the past 20, over 20 films we've had to the, you know, to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This is an achievement of a, over 11 years of just filmmaking. This is something you no one ever conceived of. This was something that no one in their right mind thought possible, no one thought it was going to work. And yet, here we are, now in, you know, this, um, this just beautiful love letter of a film. Um, this is a, you know, it was worth the three hours. Also, not bragging or anything, I didn't, I didn't leave the, I didn't leave to use the restroom at all. Nope, I sat there, didn't even touch my water, um, <laughs> didn't even move for a moment out of my chair, just stuck, kept my eyeballs to the screen, and watched nothing else in return. So, <laughs> yeah, it was, um, it was something, you know, it's, um, it was amazing. And I know I'm kind of just babbling at this point, but it's really hard to talk about this movie without really spoiling it. Um, and I, and you're probably, I know you're thinking, but Zilla, this movie's been out almost a week, you know, why not talk about spoilers now? Because I feel like this is a movie that I can't really spoil just yet, and I'll probably talk about more of this video of this movie like full on on uh, my other channel, Comic Universe, which you guys, if you haven't already, go subscribe to. You know, shameless plug is shameless and all that. But yeah, um, this movie, uh, it is long. But at the same time, like, everything didn't need to be, like, there was nothing that could be cut out. Every character piece, like, even if it's just talking, it's just beautiful. And also, I cried, like, almost four, to four or five times in this movie. <laughs> I almost cried, um, several times. Um, what I also like in here, and this is a minor spoiler, um, is that they kept some of the deaths permanent. They really did, like... Because one thing I was afraid of in, of, of in Infinity War was that um, the deaths weren't going to matter. I mean, yeah, I, we all knew that in some way or another, the characters that had been snapped, the Thanos snap, uh, were going to come back in some capacity. But the, the main thing I was worried about is that some of the characters that didn't die from the snap came back, and it would just kind of, like, low-key spoil those deaths in those films. So that was kind of my problem, was that this film would, um, this movie would kind of, like, cheapen that death, because I feel like there needed to be some sacrifice in Infinity War and in this game uh, to carry that weight and make the victory all the more sweeter. And trust me, it did that in Flying Colors. So yes, not everyone comes back or makes it alive in this film. Um, Everyone in here gives their all. Like, everyone in this film is 100% <laughs> um, in this film. Like, everyone um, does just these fantastic moments in here. And there are some returning characters you see in here that you're like, 
oh shit, I didn't think I'd see you again in the MCU, or you again, um, him again in the MCU, or, or her again in the MCU. Didn't think any of these characters would, um, would make appearances, and yet, here we are, and yeah. Now, Thanos, I will admit, some people are kind of bummed about not having a lot more Thanos than we did, to which I respond with, in in some capacity I can understand, but at, like at the same time, Thanos had his movie, he needed to be more of a obstacle in this movie. Um, he needed to be more like just this force that the Avengers had to, you know, face and they had to overcome. This needed, to, you know, Endgame needed to be about, um, it needed to be about them. It really did need to be about them more than, you know, Thanos. Because again, Thanos got his movie. Um, and yeah, he's still a threat. And even like, I, and without spoil, without spoiling anything, and I think we all know this, with, even without the gauntlet, we still see that Thanos is not someone to fuck with. Like, yeah, he he is not someone you want to, you know, have a knockdown, drag out fight with. <laughs> Um, I also like what a lot of the character development here. This film gets pretty dark in some points, like um, what Clint Barton becomes, because we all know, yeah, his family just got snapped out of existence, but I dug him in the Ronin segments, especially when we see what he's been doing. Got pretty dark there, and it made me wonder, ah, man, I wish Frank Castle was in this, um, was back in the MCU, in, not the Netflix Marvel anymore, but in the real MCU or at least reference in some capacity, because I'd love to have seen um, Clint and and uh, Clint as Ronan and uh, Frank Castle just wasting people left and right. Like, that would have been a cool little team-up uh, of just Ronan and, and Punisher teaming up and just killing people left and right. Um, man, I... Hmm. It's, um... <laughs> It's definitely, you know, a film that feels like just a great little end chapter. And, like, even if they didn't want to do any more films after Endgame, um, if they didn't want to, I mean, yeah, I know they're doing more. We all know they're doing more. But, like, at the same time, this could have easily just been an ending chapter. You know, just the end, you know, the end, you know, this could have been, like, the happily ever after um, for the MCU, but we know that's not going to happen. Which I'm fine, you know, don't think, oh, you know, maybe they should have ended at Endgame. No, I'm fine. You know, bring on Far From Home and everything else coming in the MCU, because what I love the most about this movie is that, aside from Far From Home, we know two things about the, M the future of the MCU. Jack and shit, and Jack saw himself out about an hour ago. <laughs> so, that's what I really love the most about this about this film, because it makes, it makes us guess of what's going to happen in Phase 4 of Marvel. You know, our first look at it, it's going to be Spider-Man, you know, Far From Home, and I'm really, and I doubt Far From Home's going to be giving us a lot in that capacity. So, who knows? Um, but yeah, this, um, God, there are just some great moments also in here that made me just cheer like, I wanted, I didn't cheer because I didn't want to be a dick and cheer, but I was like, yeah, in my seat. I was just like, yeah. And then I could go from being like, oh, shit, to I'm going to go cry now. <laughs> like, that was the, um, there were moments in here where it was just like, I could go from wow to cry, uh, to want to cry in just a, just the flip of a switch, just like that. And that just kind of shows how, um, how great directors the Russo brothers are, so, you know, all I gotta say is, you know, Russo's, everyone in char everyone behind this film, thank you. Thank you, Feige, Disney, whoever, all of, all the actors, you know, Chris Evans, Robert Downey Jr., everybody for, you know, taking us on this giant infinity saga and ending on the greatest love letter I've ever seen to a movie and to a superhero film franchise. And I can only, I cannot wait to see what's going to happen in the future of the MCU. So, yeah. Uh, you guys tell me in the comments below, what did you guys think of uh, Avengers Endgame? Without spoiling it, let's, let's not try, let's keep spoilers to a bare minimum here. Just uh, comment below, let, you, uh, let me know. Uh, and once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.